Hi, in the last few videos you have been seeing we built a machine learning model. We created a flask application of the machine learning model for serving and then we took the flask application, containerized it and deployed it on Kubernetes. Like that's what we did in the last uh, few set of videos. And if you have not watched the video, you can go to the video description and play it and check it out. But in, in today, what we are going to do is we are going to today deploy the model in a serverless uh, serverless application, right? That's what we are uh, going to do today. And first of all, like uh, we are going to use uh, Google Cloud Cloud Run function. And uh, before going why serverless, let me quickly talk about what is Cloud Run. Now, Cloud Run is a fully managed serverless offering that Google Cloud provides. It takes care of everything for you, like from infrastructure, including provisioning of the infrastructure, configuring in the infrastructure, scaling and managing servers. Now, if you see my Kubernetes video, we provisioned the number of node in Kubernetes, even though we used like Google Kubernetes engine, which is a managed service, but we had to control the scaling up and scaling down. You can set auto scale as well, but you don't want to, you, you want to better control it. But in case of Cloud Run, everything is managed by Google. It's a complete serverless managed uh, uh, environment that is provided by Google Cloud. It And second thing is Google Cloud actually scales uh, up and down within few seconds. So it can scale up drastically when your uh, volume increases or when the scoring transaction count increases, or it can scale down a drive, scale down as per your incoming volume. It can even scale down to completely zero. So if uh, there's no volume at all, it can scale down completely zero. So basically you're paying money for only what you are using in this case. Uh, and, uh, and basically, uh, think about it, right? If you are going to get only uh, 40 transactions or 100 transactions per day, and you 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 will get it throughout the day, but you don't want to keep the infrastructure running all the time. And Cloud Run really helps because when you are not getting volume, it is it is going to completely bring down to zero. So basically, you are paying for what you are using. You you, you don't have to run like ideal env idle environment all the time. Now, next thing is basically, it, as I said, it limits you from over provisioning and under provisioning. You can actually deploy any HTTP stateless container on Cloud Run. So if you have a container, if you have a Docker container, rather than deploying it on Kubernetes and managing it, you can deploy the same container on Cloud Run. And that's what we are going to do today. We are going to take the container that we created and we are going to uh, run it in uh, Cloud Run. Uh, the other benefit is like Google Cloud also has cloud functions, which is a similar capability, but cloud functions, you have a set of languages that it supports and you need to be bound by that. But Cloud Run uh, is not bound by that. You can just deploy any container. You can package your container in dependency and uh, finally you can execute it uh, in Cloud Run. So let's do one thing. Let's go back to our um, uh, the Google Cloud console project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the container registry. Uh, this is the container basically we uh, deployed in our uh, in our last video. And in case if you have not seen the video, you can click the link on the top and watch it. Basically, we took a Flask application, we containerized it and pushed it to Google Container Registry. Google Container Registry is very similar to Docker Hub, right? So that's what we did. And we are going to go. What we are going to do is we are going to take this particular container and deploy it on Cloud Run. Uh, let me do one thing. Let me just copy this URL. Uh, so let me let me. Copy the, this copy this URL. So I'm going to take this and uh, deploy it. So let's open an uh, command prompt uh, Google Shell, and I will enlarge it into a, a larger window. So we are going to use Cloud Shell and we are going to execute commands. You can do it in UI also, uh, but I'm going to more use command shell so that you um, you understand the G Cloud commands as well. So let me close this. Let me also go into Cloud Run, which which is what we are going to uh, use today. And this is a Cloud Run console. And currently, I don't have any application deployed on Cloud Run, right? So now let's get started. The very first thing I want to do is I want to set the project. If you see here, I am using the Srivatsan project. You can have multiple projects. So I want to set which project I am going to run this under. So for that, what I'm doing is I'm using G Cloud Utility. And if you remember my last video, I said G Cloud is used for managing uh, Google Cloud platform uh, services. Right, so I'm just setting. I'm just going to set the project, set project, and the project name is Srivatsan iPhone project. So uh, I, uh, once I set it, I'm going to be inside that project. Now I am inside Srivatsan underscore project. So now let me deploy the Flask application that you uh, 
that you saw in the container registry in cloud run so what i'm going to use it i'm again going to use a g cloud utility and g cloud as an run command which is for cloud run and what i'm doing, telling is deploy uh, deploy and I'm going to deploy a container. I'm just going to give a container a safe flask, which is nothing but sentiment analysis flask application that we are using. And I'm giving the image name. Now image name is what I have copied from uh, copied from the other window. Right. So this is the image name gcr.io Sivasan project SA flask hyphen GKE. This is the image container. I copied it. And then what I'm doing is I'm telling use the platform as sorry, hyphen hyphen platform as managed now google cloud run can run on multiple uh, platforms right it can run on a managed platform where google takes care of managing everything it can also run on google google, google kubernetes engine so if i give platform equal to google uh, google kubernetes engine then it can also run on kubernetes now the third option is if you have your own kubernetes cluster it can also run on kubernetes cluster now google cloud run is also hybrid cloud supported so if you have cloud anthos right which is anthos is the hybrid cloud utility of google cloud you can run it on premise as well as you can run it in cloud so it's a pretty good utility where you want to uh, have hybrid infrastructure between on premise and cloud right i'm giving platform managed and i'm allocating memory to uh, that particular uh, that this particular cloud run instance so why i am allocating memory because by default cloud run will allocate only 250 mb memory now, if you see the model that we had, it's a TensorFlow model and the model is pretty heavy. So I need more memory. So I am specifically giving how much memory uh, I want over here. So let me execute this command. Uh, it's going to ask, where do you want to create? I'm going to say like uh, US West, that is the selection nine. And I want to uh, basically which uh, region or which zone I want to deploy this particular um, this, this particular cloud run instance. So I'm giving it and then it's going to ask whether uh, to allow unauthenticated invocation. I'm going to say yes for now. So um, I'm going to keep it unauthenticated. But in the real world, when you go to production, you want to create certificates and you want to make it authenticated. Uh, for this purpose, I'm just going to run unauthenticated. So it's creating the container and the container is created. You can see basically service SA flask revision has been deployed. It's serving 100% of traffic and this is what the URL is, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the console. I'm going to do a refresh over here and see if I am able to uh, see the newly deployed uh, deployed cloud run uh, cloud run instance. Right now you can see that's a SA flask, right? And uh, basically, if you click on inside of SA flask, you can, you can basically see the logs also. If I go to logs, you read, the logs will show like uh, what is the status of the container. Uh, it, it's telling like it's listening in 8080. If you remember that particular Docker uh, Docker file that we had for the Docker container, we are starting this application in 8080, right? So that is that is what now the container is deployed. Now wh wh what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this particular um, this particular application, right? I have two methods. One is for checking the health of the container, and second is the calling the sentiment analysis TensorFlow model um, that we have deployed. So just to make sure the container is deployed properly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just call the curl command. I'm going to copy this particular URL, right? So it has copied everything. So let me only keep the URL and remove the other part. So, so I'm going to call the curl, a copy, call this URL, and then I'm going to finally say I want to call the L check, uh, L check, uh, basically uh, L check routing condition, right? If you let me, uh, if you go to the project uh, that that we had seen earlier, that will be L check condition. So let me quickly run this. And the first time it's going to be slow, uh, slightly slower. The reason it's it's going to bring up the model, right? Let's go back over here. And let's go to the log. Let's try to refresh the log and check what is happening. Right? We will also come to know if there is any failure or something. You can see basically it has started like uh, loading the libraries. That is a warning because we don't have GPU with this particular instance. Uh, it's 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 there's a warning. And then uh, if you refresh it further, okay, you can see the model and vocabulary is loaded. And finally, this particular URL is it. Now let's go back to the console and see the output. So basically, it's it's telling okay uh, the output is I am good. That that's what we are returning in the L check condition, 
right uh, basically we are telling uh, what is the condition of that particular uh, that particular service when i am hitting that l check url it must return i i am good and that's what uh, you are getting it over here right i am good so basically the container is up and running right now what i want to do is i want to go and call my sentiment analysis model and pass a text and make sure like it's returning positive or negative sentiment all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to call basically i'm going to use the previous one i'm going to call the curl command and then i am going to pass the i'm going to call the sc classifier uh, routing condition so here i'm going to just copy paste because it's a little bigger text uh, so let me do one thing let me copy this and let me clear it and let me show it to you just yeah uh clear yeah so now if you see what i'm doing is i'm calling that same url i'm calling sc classifier and i am passing a text basically this is the text i want to find sentiment analysis for it says still working my way through it will definitely change the view of investment and then i'm telling content type is application js the application is a json because our input required for that particular flask application that we developed is a json uh, file right or json object so i'm going to run this and uh, basically it is going to tell okay it's it has given the output if you see over here at the same predictions and the output is positive right this is a positive sentiment so basically our flask application is up and running on a serverless uh insta service uh yeah, serverless platform uh called cloud run and we are able to serve it uh and if your transaction say like goes from uh 10 transactions per second from thousand transaction or a million transaction google cloud will take care of scaling it and then scaling down you can set the maximum and minimum quota as well right but but you are not worried about infrastructure at the time it's completely serverless and managed let's go back and let's refresh the log uh to check if the latest if you see over here we got one more it over here the prediction is positive and the sc classifier was uh called this time so that's about it uh basically uh pretty easy to deploy in uh cloud run uh, the cloud run is more like it you can deploy any container any stateless container if you have stateful maybe you want to go to cloud functions but any stateless container can be deployed on uh, cloud run so that's from uh, this video uh, thank you